thread I'm Jess and today I have a warm weather vacation essentials or spring break essentials video plan for you so if you have any vacations coming up this one is for you I'm going to be going over my top items that I would choose for a vacation somewhere warm we're actually going skiing for spring break so I'm doing this specifically for you guys and I'm going over some packing tips as we go so everything that I'll be talking about is linkable in the video description, just like normal. So you can click that little triangle at the far right side if you are on mobile and everything will be linked there. We are going to jump right in because we have a lot of ground to cover today. Starting with the very first and most important thing, the luggage. You guys, I found the most insane deal on this three piece luggage set that I have that is probably the craziest luggage deal I've ever seen. So these are normally $450 and they are on crazy, crazy sale for the set of three. So my mom got me these actually last year for my birthday and I'll show you if you can see in here. This is the smallest one and I'll show you the others as well. But these are amazing. If you don't have hard shell luggage yet, it is time to get some. We took these to Europe and I had this set and Cody had just like an old set that wasn't a hard shell and that didn't have the four wheels. And we both had a completely different experience, <laughs> like trying to travel through airports and walking to our Airbnb and everything. These are amazing. They've held up super well. And there is a ton of storage in this thing. So there's lots of storage on both sides. It's got the buckles. There's also a little zipper if you wanted to put shoes or like hygiene products or something in there that you were scared might spill. You can zip it up and it will be all safe in there on both sides. And there's just a ton of great room in here. So I think even if you just wanted to take like a carry on or something, you could probably fit most of your essentials in this one. And it does come in other colors. I have the champagne color. Okay, moving into my top picks for shoes for traveling. This is one of the most common questions that I get. So I have a couple different options here based on what type of vacation you're going on. You might only need one or two of these or what you like to wear, but we will start with these because I am pretty excited about these and I think you guys will be too. This is a Birkenstock dupe from Amazon. These are crazy, crazy comfy and these are like 20 something dollars and I think Birkenstocks are what, usually 80 to 100 somewhere in there. These look so dang similar to your classic Birkenstock. And these are just a super like long-term classic sandal that you could wear forever. They last a long time. They're really comfortable. They work as a like beach slide or pool slide. They also work with casual outfits and they are top rated for being comfortable for walking a lot in because they have a lot of cushion in the heel as well. So I have this kind of taupe color in these. And if you like a Birkenstock, I think these are a great option for a dupe. I'm also including these cute little leopard slide sandals. I think slides are the easiest thing for warm weather vacations because you can wear these to the beach, you can wear them to the pool, and you don't have to mess with any straps or anything like that. The bottom of this can get wet and it's going to be totally fine. And these also look really cute with sundresses and shorts and some of your more casual outfits as well. So these are an American Eagle find, $24. And I personally love the leopard. These are a like faux calf hair, but I love the leopard on these. And I think they come in a couple of other colors as well. I'm including a couple of dressier options if you like to wear like a sundress and dress up a little bit for dinner while you're on vacation. This is one of my top picks for shoes for spring and summer, regardless of vacation or not. But I really love these as a vacation option because you can dress them up. You can also still wear these casually and you can even wear these to the pool as well. Again, this is elastic so they can get wet and they are going to be totally fine. And these are insanely comfortable, like some of the most comfortable shoes that I own. And when we've been on vacation before somewhere warm, I actually wear these as my everyday like walking shoe because there's so much cushion here that your foot is very much not sore by the end of the day. And they have these elastic straps so you don't have to worry about blisters or anything like that. And these come in a ton of color options as well. 
this might be the rare person that would want to pack a heel. I don't know. I don't always do this whenever I go on a warm weather vacation where I'm going to be walking a lot, but some of you might want a more dress up option. So this is my most comfortable heel because it's a block heel. So it's obviously not as comfortable as like a wedge or a platform or something like that. But if you did need a dress up option and you wanted a taller heel, I think this is the best option that you'll find for walking in and it doesn't take up much room in a suitcase either. Okay, another top, top pick for vacation are these Echo sneakers. Now these are a little bit pricey and also mine look a little bit worn because I forgot to suede protect them and ended up walking in the rain in these when we were in Paris last year and they have some watermarks on them. So do suede protect them with some Scotch Guard, but these are the most comfortable shoes that I own hands down out of any shoes that I own. I'm talking these are more comfortable than my gym sneakers, literally. And when we were in Paris last year, we walked tons and I would wear these with dresses and skirts and some of my more dressed up outfits as well. And since they are a like almost like a leathery sneaker, they look a little bit nicer than like your classic Adidas sneaker or something. So they're a little easier to dress up and they have these cushions on the bottom here. So these are really crazy comfy to walk in. Never had a single blister. My feet never hurt at the end of the day. And if you're going to splurge on anything, I would get yourself a pair of these if you're doing a lot of vacationing. Okay, moving into some more just everyday outfits and the items that you're going to be wearing a lot of. I do not include a ton of these. I grab a couple pairs of shorts, a couple of tops, and then just kind of style them different ways while I'm on vacation. But I think probably one of the most important things, if you're going somewhere warm weather, I talked about these shorts in my last video with the swimwear, but this pair of denim shorts is incredible. These are the mom fit, so they are a little bit higher rise and they're a little bit longer, so your booty's not gonna hang out in these. And I have the curve love fit, which means that they have a little bit more room in the thigh area and in the booty area, which is where I carry my weight. And so these are the most comfortable denim shorts I've put on in a long time. They're not tight on my thighs. I can sit down in them and I don't feel like things are popping out and being really uncomfortable. So I highly recommend these in general for spring and summer, but I think these are really great wash. You can pair these with a lot of different items, kind of dress them up or dress them down. And they are true to size as well. I have my normal size four in these. And then I also am a big fan of tie waist shorts or paper bag shorts. Sometimes I find that these can be a little bit more comfortable than a denim if it's really, really warm and you're doing a lot of sweating or if you're going to be traveling a lot in a car a lot, I think these might be a more comfortable option. These have a lot of extra room through the hip and thigh and they're almost like a linen type of material. So they're lightweight, they're easy and breezy. And I think it's just kind of a fun option to change up your classic denim short. These are true to size as well. Tops wise, I'm not including a ton of options here. I'm just throwing a few at you and then you can kind of utilize what you already have in your closet for this. But I am throwing this layering tank in because I utilize this with a lot of different outfits and you can style this a whole bunch of ways. And it also works as a swim cover up if you just wanna wear your denim shorts and then throw this little tank on over if you're going to the beach or something, kind of works as a swim cover up too. And then if you want a dressier top option, this one is actually a fun option. This is an Amazon find that I got in recently and had to put on for the video, but it's a smocked top. So this works with jeans, denim shorts, skirts, lots of items as well, and is really lightweight. So I think this would be great for somewhere warm. Another packing tip would be to always include a couple of layering options, no matter how warm it's going to be, where you're going, I guarantee you, you're gonna want a couple of layering pieces for the night or the morning or even just wearing around the room. So definitely put, throw a denim jacket in or a cargo jacket. This is such a classic piece to me. And I'll show you a couple different ways to style this as we go, but I always have a denim jacket every time that we travel. And usually one of my tricks is, since this is a little bit bulkier of an item to include in a suitcase, I usually throw it on um, with my travel outfit when we're going somewhere. And then I know for sure that I have it, but I think you'll definitely utilize one of these. And then my mom's tip, anytime I travel is always, I don't care how warm you think it's gonna be, always throw in a jacket because 
you're going to want one when it's nighttime or whatever. So I recently got this little leopard one in that I think is super fun. And I love having these on hand, even just to wear around the room. This one's really soft and comfortable. Wear on the plane, wear it in the car. I guarantee you, you'll get some use out of this. And you know, leopard is neutral in my book. So I think this would work with a lot of the outfits that I've already shown or will continue to show. So this one I think would be another great option. And it's not like a huge bulky coat or jacket or something that's gonna take up a ton of space. You could even throw this in like a tote bag for the airport or something like that too. And then here's a couple of accessory options. I usually grab just a small bag like this. This one's from the H&M haul that I did recently and it's really small, but I think when you're traveling, I don't particularly want to have to mess with having a huge bag that I'm gonna have to set down and worry if it's gonna get stolen or whatever else. So these are both crossbody bags, the, one that I, the ones that I'm including. So they work really well. You just throw them over and you don't have to mess with them. And you can definitely fit all your essentials in here, your wallet and your um, phone, keys, whatever else in this one. And this is another kind of similar option. This one I've had for a couple of years now. Probably my most utilized spring and summer bag. I've already began posting this one on my Instagram page. And I love this one with all, it works with dresses and shorts and all the spring and summer outfits. And then this little hat, this is another one I included in our swimwear video. This one is a packable hat. So it's really great because it works as a sun hat, just like normal. Um, when you get to the beach or the pool or whatever, but it's packable, so it's not gonna lose its shape. It will kind of go into itself in the suitcase, and then when you open it, it'll just pop right back up. So it's not like a typical straw hat where it's going to get like those big floppy hats. I feel like if you throw those in a suitcase and then get them out, they look terrible. So this one's a great beach or pool option. Moving into some swimwear options, I just included an entire video on Amazon swimsuit. So if you missed that, you might wanna go back and check that out for lots of options. But for the sake of this video, doing essentials, I'm only going to share my top two favorites from that video and my top two cover-ups. And then you can kind of decide from there if that's what you want, or if you don't like these two, you can go back and watch the other video. But this is my favorite bikini from that haul. It is so flattering on. This would work on any body type, no matter your chest size or hip size or whatever. This one's really flattering on and is great support. So it's kind of like a sports bra fit. And I am wearing the medium in this one. And then it's got the little ruching leopard bottoms as well. And this comes in a couple of other colors too. So that's my top bikini pick. And then cover up wise for that one, I'm including this little crocheted cover up. This one is great because this also can work as a top if you wanted to do that, kind of pull it off the shoulder and I'll show you that too and wear it with a skirt or some shorts or something as well. So this one's pretty dual function. And then I also included a one piece option if you don't like to wear bikinis. This was my favorite one piece from that haul. So flattering on, really fun pattern. This is very beachy, very tropical. And I love the little piping on it. I think it makes it kind of pull in your waist and is really flattering on. Great quality on both of these. I have the medium in both. And then I'm also including this little kimono as a cover up option, which once again, you can do with dresses or with shorts and a tank or something like that too. Moving into a couple of dress options, I've included two different casual ones and two different dressy ones. Now you might not need all of those options if you're going on a trip, depending on how long your trip is, but I did wanna give you a few different options for these. So first of all, this one has been one of my all time best sellers. This is from an Amazon dresses video that I did a full year ago. And this one is still one of my best sellers for the entire year. And for good reason, this is the most comfortable probably dress that I own and maybe the most comfortable thing that I own in my closet. It is the softest. Tie-dye is very in right now. I love it. This one's a neutral color, so you can still pair this with a denim jacket or a cargo jacket, and it works with a lot of different shoe options as well, since it's still a neutral color. It's got pockets on both sides, and it also can tie up at the bottom as well. And this one also works as a swim cover-up too. So if you just need a super easy swim cover-up option, I think you could totally throw this on over your bikini and head to the beach and still be completely appropriate in that as well. This one's more of a classic t-shirt dress, but this is also 
that fantastically soft material that just feels so good on your skin. This one would be great as a travel dress too, like if you're the day that you're actually flying or driving or whatever, because it is so comfortable, you're going to feel like you're wearing pajamas or a sweatsuit. But I think there's a lot you can do with this one too. It's great for just like traveling around, running, not running errands, because you won't be running errands on vacation, but walking through whatever you're doing, easy, casual, but you could wear this with some wedges and kind of dress it up for dinner or something as well. And I have the small in this one and the small in the tie-dye one as well. That one does run a touch big. So if you don't want an oversized fit, you might want to size down in the tie-dye one. This is probably the dressiest option that I included. And if you can't tell, this kind of smocked detailing that's on my top right now and that's in this dress is a big trend for spring and summer for 2020. This one has a really pretty kind of like a gold glittery thread through it. It's a little hard to see unless you're looking right at it, but... I love this color pattern and I think this works as an event dress as well and not just a vacation dress. So this one's really versatile. It does run on the smaller side. So I actually have the medium in this one and I do not think I would have wanted it any smaller through the hip area. But this one I like because you could do this with the pair of like nude heels like I showed earlier or you could still do this with some sandals or some wedges to address it down a bit. This one is another stunning Amazon find. This is actually a maxi dress and it is just beautiful on. This one's under $30 or in the $30 range, I believe. It's a true wrap dress, so it wraps all the way around. And this one can also double as a kimono for a swim cover up too, if you wanted to do that, or like a really fancy swim cover up, even tied up. But I think it's really fun with some heels or some wedges. A little straw bag and it's great for a nice dinner out on vacation as well and it is a showstopper with this pattern all right now i've got a couple of freebie items for you just to help you out with your packing and also just a freebie thing that i wanted to include but these pajamas i like to get a new pair of pajamas when i'm going on vacation i don't know then every time when i get home and i wear those pajamas i think about that trip and i don't know it's just kind of a little tradition that i have but I recently found these leopard silk or not silk, they're satin pajamas from Amazon. And these are incredible guys. Like I've talked about these so much on my Instagram page already. And I'm, I've searched through quite a few different Amazon pajamas. And honestly, the quality just was pretty subpar with most of them except for these. These feel like designer. They're amazing. I've washed these probably 20 times since I got them. They haven't faded at all. There's no like pulls on the fabric. It still feels really nice. They're true to size and they come in some other colors of leopard as well. But even if you're going somewhere warm weather, since they are that satiny lightweight material, I think these would be so fun just to kind of give you something a little extra for your vacation and they're under $30 as well. And then I have just a few little storage items as well to help you with packing. I've talked about these in the past, but thought I'd bring them back out since we're talking about packing. So this is a little jewelry organizer that I found from Amazon. I don't have a ton in here right now because most of my jewelry is out that I'm using since I haven't been on a trip in a while, but it's got little spots for your necklaces so that they don't get tangled. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then it's also got spots for rings and bracelets. These snap off so you can throw your rings in there and your bracelets. And then it has this little plate for your earrings as well. So this is just a great thing. If you like to accessorize a lot and pack a lot of jewelry, don't put them all in a Ziploc and then get super frustrated when they're all tangled up and then you don't wear them anyways when you get there. So this is really affordable from Amazon and I have been really glad to have it anytime we've traveled. Then this little guy is looking a little worse for wear because I actually use this every single day since I've gotten it, which has been about a year ago. But this is my little makeup organizer. Another thing that is perfect for travel, it's got a little area for your makeup brushes, and then it has these removable compartments as well so you can keep everything organized. And this is pretty tough stuff. So you can stick this in your suitcase and not have to worry about all your blushes and powders and everything getting crumbled 
by being moved through the airport and everything else. So I love this while traveling. It keeps everything organized. And then I also just want to make mention of a couple of fun beauty finds that you will probably want for a vacation as well. I've been really into this brand Tula lately. They have skincare and some makeup items as well. And also I have a promo code for them. It is M-A-N-D-T for 15% off anything on their site at any time. But this little cooling eye balm has been amazing. It feels like it's been in the refrigerator. This is a great thing for travel if you like are jet lagged and you just feel crummy and you feel like you've lost your glow. This will just give you a little glow right under your eye area. I have the rose one, so it's a little bit of a pink tint. And then they also have a plain like white one as well, but it's cooling. So it feels really nice in the mornings. And then it just, I kind of use it as a highlighter, just gives you a little bit of a glow. And then they also have a makeup primer that I've been loving. It's called face filter. So it's a moisturizer and a primer, but again, we'll just kind of even out your skin tone. And if you're doing a lot of beach days where you're not wanting to wear heavy makeup, you could probably just throw this on, throw a little highlighter on, maybe some mascara and be good to go. That's a wrap on our spring break essentials and as many packing tips as I could include in this video without it being five hours long. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, I would love to hear from you and I would love if you would share this video with your friends and family as well. And if you're going on a trip, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.